New at 11, as kids are heading back to school, some are already coming down with the sniffles and the tummy aches. Should parents keep them at home? What's the guidance? Well, as KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano explains, the rules may be tough to figure out. What makes this all challenging is that there isn't one set of rules for everyone to follow. Every parent has to know what their local health department guidance is, what rules the schools have implemented, and what a sick child means to you and your workplace. Kids and germs go hand in hand, you know, but now when they get sick, it's, it's a whole different thing and you... It kind of freaks you out. As every parent knows, back to school means back to the days of kids bringing home colds and viruses. But with the pandemic, any one of those common cold symptoms could be a sign of COVID. Well, unfortunately, there's not really any distinguishing features between a common cold and COVID. Dr. Ann Liu, an infectious disease doctor with Stanford Health, says with a different set of rules for each county and school district, the best piece of advice is to read up on what's required, have a plan, including a place to get tested. It's not just if, it's when our kids develop some of these GI or cold symptoms, what are you going to do? Here in Marin County, if a student has a symptom, they have to get tested and provide proof of a negative test, get evaluated by a medical provider, or quarantine for at least 10 days. Dr. Liu hopes more rapid antigen testing will become available in the coming months to make the process easier for parents. It's super disruptive. We're all working from home and then to suddenly have your kids be home there too while you're trying to work, it's pretty crazy. It's an inconvenience though parents are willing to deal with to have their kids back in the classroom. I'm just happy to have my kids at school. So that um, I don't, at this point, it, the priority is having as many kids back on campus as possible. With the Delta variant, breakthrough cases are happening and fully vaccinated people are getting COVID and transmitting it. Different workplaces will then have different rules on when and how you can return. In Larkspur, Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.